But can you toss an axe? How can I be of service? In times like these, don't pay to save coins on weapons. Hello? Show me what you have. Could you take some stuff for me? Don't take the Witcher Swords, please. Oh, I still can't equip that. Divine. Or Davine? Davine? Spigurog Akaton. That's what we got from killing Morkvarg, <laughs> I think. Assassin's Gauntlets. Better than what I have right now. What the heck? Yeah, it's okay though, because we're going to get a better one as soon as we hit level 23. Okay. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Crafting? You're an armorer. So you can't make a sword for me. No. So long. Okay. Was there an armorer back here, or... Is that just the ah! grindstone? Oh! Roach! Greetings. No, these are just the... Um, the workbenches. Hmm. So will you buy the ram? The right randy top fat one. You gotta be kidding. You gotta... Who's that oddball? Tell the Baron Sergeant you want to take Uma. Oh, that's a fast travel point. Back to Novigrad, probably. Hmm. Well, if that one's done... Oh, yeah, we gotta worry about this one, too. Level 13. That's back at, um... That one place. Redgill? Oh. Something here. When did that come up? Wait. I'm so confused. Why is it not showing me on the map where it is? Uh, okay. Maybe we won't worry about this for now. Let me just look at the notice board first. To get hired on a ship. Has new captive woman who graves there the men you know, to think from it could have been us they ravaged? And you let her we not fought his them bed. off. He wouldn't Everyone touch knows Ravik's got cold. better warriors. Just gives her a good looking over maybe. times. Sonny, if the novel fair had lost this here. He hates you so much he's got to scream. <laughs> Everyone starts talking at the same time and they end talking at the same time too. Gosh darn it. Sailing west! Hark ye, good men! Come, Lamas! I'm setting out to the west with Gredir and Finbjorn. The elders say there's nothing out there but sea, krakens, and serpents. But I'm a man who has the sea for himself to believe. If you're up for an adventure, we still have a few oars free. Leif? We've heard that name a few times, too. Teacher for my daughter. Who will teach my daughter how to use a bow? The girl is already getting decent at sword and spear fighting, but she'll sooner gouge her own eye out with an arrow than hit the target. Hemminger. Garter's death. Garter, son of Hakon, died during the last raid. His breast was pierced with three arrows, but he managed to crush the bowman's head in his hands before he drew his last breath. His body's already buried in a barrow, but his spirit is feasting with his ancestors. Pour some meat in his memory sometimes. Deruda. Contract. Monster on the high road. That might be what we just did. I need a hero. A man favored by the gods or a witcher. Anyone, really. Who's not afraid to stand up to the ghastly creature. What's been attacking folk walking the main road to Larvik. A reward's been set aside. If you don't fear death and long for fame and ballads, come see the village elder. Thorleif. Son of bear hogs. P.S. Zver, you stay home. You've done enough as it is. Order from the Jarl. If you spot a Nilfgaardian ship on the horizon, return to the village and tell me. Do not sail out against them by yourself. What's on the waters around the isles belongs to all, and we will all plunder it together. Donor and Hindar. Wasn't Einar gonna go look for some Nilfgaardian ships? Contract. Morkvarg. Sons and daughters of Freya. Another year has passed in which Morkvarg plagues our goddess's gardens. Whoever musters the courage to eliminate this evil will gain the fame will gain fame amongst mortals and the favor of the immortals, as well as a prize from the temple's vault. Was that 85 crowns that we got from Sister Josta? I think so. Can I take that? No one's mad. I think this is the one that we just did with the Neckers. And then this is the one that... Huh. Surprisingly enough, we can get this from a notice board, even though... 
Oh, I guess you don't have to go to... Yeah, because initially, we were visiting Lofoten with Yennefer first, which is how we found out about Morgvarg. But alternatively, somebody could have chosen to visit Larvik first. Okay. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah. Let me get my reward then. Just the witchcraft of Morhog's wraiths. Witcher. Back here. Man was deathly ill, they say. When he knew the time had come, you? he went into the mountains. Now that's you. You're a watcher. I see and right. Greetings. Saw your notice. Huh. And they said, where you hang on that? Ain't no one else gonna hunt that beast. But I showed him. Killed the beast that was troubling you. Merciful Freya. Horson's finally dead. <laughs> now, tell us, was it a tough fight? Got any wounds, need dressing? No, I'll be all right. Ah, uh, nothing new to the likes of you. Hard work, witchering. All right, your reward. This here's for you. Thanks. So long. Oh, I could have done with a few, I don't know, a few bottles of meat or something. Okay. We got it done. Hjalmar and Kreat's gone to Unvik in threefold company. Bow, axe, and blade against the giant. Some tale that. Oh, everybody knows about it, huh? Hjalmar. We should get back to that sometime, too. Well, we're in Larvik right now. We can go talk to Yennefer. But, I'm a little bit curious about this. And I want to collect my reward from the Red Gill thing, too. Is that alright? Or, um, not the reward, but I want to figure out what happened to the, um, the ship that sailed here from a land far, far away. Yeah, it says uncover what became of the second ship. I thought previously this led me to Red Gill. But I'm guessing it was leading me to Red Gill because it has a fast travel marker. Because now it's saying I should go to the Larvik fast travel marker. Which means, is this... Ah, this is back in Velen. Whoa, it feels like it's been so long since I've seen this map. Oh, what? Erston! Erston, that's where it was. Oh. Okay. We have to find out about what happened to the second ship here. Oh. I guess that's something we'll leave alone until we... Get back to Novigrad then. Okay. Okay. In that case... Mmm... Why don't we figure out what's here first, and then we'll come back to Yennefer and visit Larvik properly. A little bit curious about this too. Skellige, Geralt. That's I exactly know you're how. kind. Oh. Sorry! Hi. Sorry, everybody. This one's pretty close by. Shouldn't be too big of a detour. Great and mighty Freya, help us fulfill the oaths we've sworn. Give us strength and courage, swift hands and sharp eyes. Lead us. Right, lads. Let's get to work. Clear out this mine. Hello? Who are you? Why are you here? Could ask you the same. Places like this, usually home to necrophages alone. They're corpse eaters, aye. And they grow bolder by the day. Crawl out to attack the living. We'll kill them all. Clear the mine with our swords in our hands. Honor our fathers in doing so. Well, good luck with that. <laughs> I'm a witcher. Could go with you and help. And steal the glory due us. No chance. Glory won't do much for you if ghouls are gnawing on your bones. Hmm. When you're thinking it... Makes sense. Hmm. All right. You lead the way then. Hope you know I expect payment at the end of this. Oh, they have health bars. This seems annoying. Hey, By the way, where you going? I really like your pendant thing. Beats having a torch, right? Because a torch disables one hand. Okay, let me go on ahead, okay? The faster I run, the faster they run. <laughs> uh, that stench. 
Oh god. Nope, someone's going back to them. Necrophage oil here. Oh, the devourer! That's the one that explodes. Someone's dying here. And it's not gonna be me, right? Guys, you should just stay back. Does your health come back? That guy's kind of beaten up already. How you like that oh, Jesus. I'll watch you die with pleasure. Give him hell. <laughs> oh, Lord. Last one. Drag the corpses outside. Burn them. Other ghouls don't scorn their cousins' corpses. Aye. True. It's good you came. Seems Freya watches over us to have led you here. We're grateful, and will be for long. <clears throat> Folk are generous with gratitude, not so much with coin. <laughs> oh, hi. Sorry. Uh, Afterglow of the battle, we're still caught up. Damn you, slice them good. Here, for you. Thanks. Farewell. <laughs> this one felt like babysitting. Best blade's not worth shite if a weak arm's swinging it, eh? Talking about Your yourself? Never crumble. What? You guys are gonna stay here now? Got 60 crowns for my trouble. This one felt like babysitting because I felt like I was more scared about them dying than me not being able to kill the ghouls. Hmm? He's gonna sit in the dark? Keep no respect for our customs. Not ye, nor that witch, Jennifer. Okay, I guess hey, we're not really welcome here. Doing? I'm leaving. I'm leaving because apparently you guys like staying in here. I don't, so bye. Mines. There's actually there's no dead bodies in here or anything, huh? Dimeridium ingot. Is this like a dimeridium ore mine, maybe? Maybe that's what it is. Hey, is there a dead body here or not? Whatever. The Al Ghul body? I didn't finish looting it, did I? No. And there's a chest here. With florins. Uh, I said I liked your pendant, but you don't have to sit in the dark like that <laughs> to show it off. But okay, you know, if you like doing that, sure. Was there a another side over here? Dead end. Dead end. Unless if we can climb up, which I don't think is a thing. Okay, well that was a short little detour. Dimeridium ore. Dimeridium ore. Yeah, this was a Dimeridium ore mine. That wasn't too bad. I guess we're gonna go back to Larvik then, right? Since there shouldn't be anything else nearby. These things, we'll just look at before we leave this whole island, Hindersfjall. But uh, Yennefer sounded like she was pretty in need of me going over there quickly, so I will do that. Before Geralt and Yennefer parted after their adventure in Freya's garden, the sorceress asked him to meet her in Larvik. She made it clear this was a personal matter, but gave no further details. And it's called the Lost Wish. You know, of course, that being the... the whole thing with the djinn. There was even a book in The Witcher 3 called The Lost Wish, right? We've seen that book quite a number of times. Didn't Sorry! Half a year, but when he came back, oh la la, so draped with jewels he could barely walk. That I cannot Yippee! believe. The Witcher killed a monster! Somebody came back with riches. Hey Roach, you've been here the whole time. I'll be a priestess when I grow up. Don't want no stinky husband. How can I be of service? In times like these, don't pay to save coins on weapons. <laughs> of course you would say that. You're the one benefiting from it. Show me what you have. 
I just want to sell you some of my stuff because we gotta be kind of careful about our weight situation with all the equipment here. Ooh, we're pretty close to level 22 now. Oh, there's nothing I can sell because the arbitrator. Yeah, that's the one that we just picked up from the mine. Hmm, okay. Do you want to play cards? Uh, okay. What would you say to a few rounds of Gwent? You should see the druids about that ick. What do we want to do? By the way, last time we got, um, we got a non-card from the guy that we won, and some of you were saying that that might be because I finished getting all the cards from the random NPCs, and I can find this out if I look in the Gwent book, which I will do as soon as I finish this round here. So let's make it a quick round today. Just Northern Realms, standard deck. Hurry up and beat him. Whoa! Opponent's leader cancels my ability. Nilf Guardian, Gondro Dim. Blue Stripes, Gondro Dim. Sigismund, Dijkstra, Blue Stripes. Krinfrid, Medic, Ballista, Catapult, Siri. Not a bad hand, I suppose. Anything I want to get rid of? Uh, maybe the... Actually, I'm not too sure what to get rid of. My worst nightmare is getting rid of Krinfrid and then getting another Krinfrid. Oh, perfect! Okay, this should be a quick round then. I don't think I've ever seen this leader card before though, right? Canceling out my ability? Hmm. A sword is but one of many tools at a ruler's disposal. It's been a while since we've seen that guy, huh? Wonder how he's doing. Invading Temeria and all. Oh! Wow. Okay, okay, if you feel like that, fine. Be like that then, yeesh. Two can play at this game! <laughs> I got Roach, and I got a Scorch card. Okay, six. Oh, come on, we can very easily defeat this, right? I can use a... Hmm, but what do I want to use to defeat it? Because... Um... Yeah, for my Commander's Horn, I'm gonna pair it with a Blue Stripes, right? So it's okay that I use a Siege card here, which means I'll just use an 8. That should be fine. Yay! This guy's a dummy. He passed way too early. Decoy. Okay, my turn. If I can win this round and just beat him, that would be ideal. I'm trying to think here, though. I have a Scorch card. If I want to use it... Because the moment I put down these blue stripes cards, there's a pretty big possibility that it's going to be the largest cards on the field. Largest number cards. Hmm... Maybe I'll just put down a catapult for now. A ballista. And we'll see how that goes. Zeracanian Scorpion, 10. As long as we're careful not to get above a 10, we should be okay for now. Do I want to use a Dunbanner Medic right away? I think it's okay because we have a decoy if we ever want to use it again. So we're still okay right now. We can still use Scorch. That's a Medic. Oh, I'll have that. Thank you. Thank you. Very kindly. Now I can decoy back the Medic. Commander's Horn. Okay, that's good. 20. That's got to be the highest number on the field for a long time. Oh god, Estherat Tyson and Yennefer. We've got this. We've got this, I think. Yeah, I'll just put down a bunch of hero cards and we'll see how it goes. Can we commit everything to this round? I think so, because I still haven't used Commander's Horn yet and the Blue Stripes. Okay, he took back my spy. Zeracanian Fire Scorpion. Okay. Uh, if I use Yennefer, all I got is Gondro Dim. Should I put down my blue stripes now? I can put down... Can I put down all three of them? without the number going above 20. If I put down two, they're gonna become eight. Right, so if I put down another one, 
Is that a 16? Or how does it work again? Doubles the strength of both cards. It's not gonna go above 20, right? I don't think so? Uh... Well, just in case, I'm pretty sure this is gonna be the highest number on the field anyway, so we can just scorch it. Doesn't really matter. I don't actually remember how the numbering on the blue stripes works. 12. Ah! Triple. Triple of the initial four. Oh. Okay, well that's great. <laughs> nice! Nice. Can't say that was a bad play by you. Mmm, in that case, what do I want to do? I can still use Commander's Horn here, so that's not a big deal. But do I want to bring back... Who do I want to bring back? Hmm. He's only got one card left, and right now I have more than him, so we'll be fine. We'll be fine, especially since I have Siri. Is your last card a spy card? Yes. So you have two more cards now. Okay. Let's not get cocky too quickly. Um, I'm scared about Scorches still. I didn't really expect him to have another Scorch. Guess I'll try Blue Stripes. Yeah. Letho. But it's 69 to 47. We should be okay. Hoping that's not a Scorch. The last card. <laughs> oh no, it's a spy! Okay, you get two more cards. But you also gave me a 9 in the process. So now it's a 97 versus 66. Nice try, but no dice. Thank you. 20 crowns. Oh, Elven Skirmisher. So we're still getting cards here. There should still be cards for us to get from the, um, the random NPCs around here. And I think we check by... Where's the book? The book that we need to find here? Oh my god, there's so many. How am I gonna find that book? <laughs> How am I gonna know when I see it? Can we just find it as an item, maybe? Yeah, because this is the, the books tab. Oh, a miraculous guide to Gwent. The tome you hold in your hands, commissioned by the most gracious Duke de Berry, shall make use of magic most arcane to display which Gwent cards are currently missing from your collection. Velen, too. I'm missing two cards in Velen, four in Novigrad, 14 in Skellige Isles, one in Kaer Morn. Number of new cards, which can still be won from players of no particular renown of skill. Or skill, 16. Okay, so in Skellige, we've still got quite a few cards to go through. These are for people we know, like special people. And then the 16 is for random NPCs, I guess. Work there. Did you say card player? We got an elven skirmisher from that. Oh. Tell the yarn. He's in charge. <laughs> Greetings. Looking to buy? Show me your wares. What you got for me? Oh, I can sell you... I can sell you my old one, I think. Ah, that's right! Our trophies got switched from the Necro thing. Don't really need the rest of this though, do we? Nope. Okay. Guess we're out of here. So long. I'll come back for you for Gwent some other time, if we need to. Has new captive woman. She's there than yeah, me. we've heard this. It's a random you know, horse. Greetings, impressive tavern. Tavern? This ain't no tavern. Tis the house of warriors. Mm -hmm. So what do folk do in the House of Warriors? Fight? At times, one'll take the other and give them a good slap in, eye. But mostly, folk come here to drink, eat, warm their bones by the fire, chatter a bit. 
Maybe listen to a skull and pay to the moon. About what folk do at a tavern. <sighs> ah, ye continentals don't understand a thing. Ye need some of our mead. Brood wisdom it is. <laughs> I like your, um, your dagger pendant thing. It's kind of cool. What are you peddling? Let me have a look. Makes you look threatening and all. Although, as an innkeep, I don't know if looking threatening is a good thing or not. Cherry cordial? Buy all of it? Sure. Mahakaman spirit. Nilfgaardian lemon. So you don't got the other one. The other cordial. Something cordial. Yeah. Uh, thank you. Farewell. Thank you. <laughs> Oh, there she is. Yennefer is usually so outspoken and direct, but earlier when she was talking about this to me, even though we don't know what it's about, she seemed very apprehensive. Quite uncharacteristic of her. That's true. Hard to see him. Always did know how to win, friends. I was provoked. Mm-hmm. Saw it happen. What? Wanted to talk to me about something? Amos Far Ipsis. A specialist on jinns. Heard of him? I found a tome he'd penned in the Emperor's library. Far Ipsis set off for Skellige one day and was never heard from again. I asked some of the local folk. Some here still remember him. Wait, did something happen in the inn while we weren't looking? Was she picking a fight? Why are you even interested? Jins are dangerous sometimes and malicious all the time. I remember. But the advantages outweigh the risks. If I can tame a djinn, I shall gain incredible power. And that could be useful to us one of these days. This again? Again? That's like what happened in The Last Wish. Are you sure this mage actually had a djinn? His books strongly suggest he did. He describes taming one, harnessing energy from its power. Nowhere to look for the mage and the djinn? The locals say they last saw Amos's ship off the coast of Hindisfjall. Just before a once in an eon storm broke. Dad will find them then. Mage is probably fish food, and the djinn escaped. Not necessarily. But even if it is so, I'll not give up without seeing some evidence. Will you help me? I've no gold to offer in reward, but I shall be ever so grateful. Even though you're rich? Didn't you pay off all my debts and stuff? <laughs> Since you put it that way, fine. I'll help you. Thank you. A boat awaits in the harbor. Come. She hasn't really revealed why... Why the... to prepare everything already. Yeah. I have. How could you possibly know I'd agree? I didn't. Decided to risk it. Fresh me! There's gins, and it's called The Last Wish, so I feel like it's gotta be in reference to those previous things that happened, but she hasn't really said anything about why she's so apprehensive about the whole thing. Lead the way. Just once, you might try to take the initiative. Would you even let me? It would depend on the situation. Oh. <laughs> Alright. Oh, here! I'm gonna bump into Einar again. It's not that gigantic ship, right? No, it's a small one. This is a terrible cross with you. Oh. you and the sorceress. I knew you were well off, but not that well off. <laughs> the ship carrying the djinn sank somewhere in this area. Not too precise as leads go. I'll cast a spell on our boat. We'll know if there are any wrecks on the seafloor below us. All right, let's get to work. Mind if I take the helm? <sighs> I got a choice. No. <laughs> this is just how they operate. Okay, lead the way, lady. Or do you want me to sit down? I can't take the helm. So maybe I have to sit on this side. Well, it's nice to have someone driving for once. Not sure this gin thing's a good idea. We managed to seize one before. Do you remember? Of course. Dandelion almost lost his voice that time. 
How lucky your exorcism saved it. It was poetic. Yeah, how was I supposed to know that incantation meant be gone and plow yourself? You should have studied foreign languages. Gonna keep bringing that up for the rest of my life? Of course. Your last wish effectively assured it. My wish was about us being together always, not about you mocking my every mistake. Careful what you wish for. And when your wish is granted, you must accept it with all attendant circumstances. Yeah... And as for your missteps, I don't rightly see why I shouldn't laugh if they're amusing. There's something here, on the bottom. It's too deep here. You can't dive that long. You underestimate me. On the contrary. After all, I asked you for help. I'll cast a spell. It will slow your heart for a time. You can stay submerged longer. Asad I cried a rithorn. Ooh. Ready. Careful down there. I think I had a potion that gave me longer breath too. But since you cast this for me already, because I don't need it. Oh. Oh, I don't have a meter at all. Thanks, Yan. And what is that glowing mess? Oh, it's just bubbles. How's it going? Yeah, and you know I hate it when you read my mind. Strictly speaking, I'm not reading your mind, but using telepathy. Besides, you've nothing to hide, right? Wouldn't admit it if I did. Not the point. See anything interesting? A shipwreck and a cavern. I'll look inside. I'm surprised these guys are taking more than one hit. Why? Everybody usually takes only one hit. Ooh. Can I interact with that? Snapped masts, busted planks, and a whole swarm of drowners. Probably drawn by the corpses of drowned crew, then made their nest here. There's also a Clan Drummond figurehead. Not the right ship. Come back up. Oh. Clan Drummond. Not sure where you see that, but there is something else here, right? Even if it's not the right ship, we can still get it. Is that an Ericus? A sunken Ericus? Or just a generic shell? Ooh, whoa, that's... Black Magic Doll. <laughs> For some reason, they can't say voodoo. I wonder if that's like a copyright thing or whatever. Where to now? Wherever the leads take us. I hope you know what you're doing. Last time we fought the Jin. It's not like we didn't have trouble with it at all, right? Say we find the djinn. What'll you do? Ask for a beautiful house? Then a palace? Then a queen's crown? Are we still talking about the djinn? Or have we moved on to a talking fish? Doesn't much matter. Both make wishes come true. What would yours be? You'll learn in due course. You want to make a wish? Is that why we're looking for the djinn? Hmm. What do you want that only a djinn can grant you? I wonder. Something's here. Another wreck. Let's see if our djinn's down there. Will I know it when I see it? More importantly, like, what am I expecting to look for? A swimming... a djinn that's swimming underwater? Found a wreck. It's been here a while. Woods rotted. Look around, but be careful. Look for something that might indicate it's the mage's ship. Got something. A Skelliger's buckler. Clan Hamai symbols. Donar's clan. Donar was a babe in swaddling clothes when this buckler landed here. Is it the right one then? Probably not, I'm guessing. Something else here? Got a chest, really old. Must have fell off the wrecked longship. 
Can you open it? Hoping for pirate treasure? I hope to find the gin. Try to open it. Beautiful craftsmanship. What do you have? A war horn, bearing Clan Haymai symbols. Longship belonged to Clan Dimon. Yen. Doubt any of these boats were the mages. These are old sunken longships. Come back then. We must search elsewhere. Now that's what I call war booty. Have you found the gin? No, but I found something that could be just as valuable to me as the gin is to you. Money and broken ladders and rakes, obviously. Oh, look at that school of fish. Hello, Yen. Lead the way. You're getting better at this. Go even quicker if you helped me down there. I prefer to observe matters from up here, most definitely. Yeah, like when we were looking for the golden dragon and an avalanche swept us off the trail. Me clinging to the remains of a bridge for dear life. You gripping my waist, admiring the view. Remember? Chasm below us was breathtaking. Rustling trees, a lazily flowing stream. I remember. Though I found myself admiring what I had right in front of me. <laughs> you guys have a lot of history together. It's almost like we're on a little vacation right now. Which is a little strange because previously... Something strange about those rocks. And there's something on the bottom. I'll see what it is. Previously, Yennefer was all like, oh my god, we gotta go find Siri right now! And now we're relaxing. This might be a little different. The area is a lot bigger, too. Hello, miss. You're a little bit too far for me. See something? Something doesn't do it justice. A huge crater, as if a meteorite landed here. I must see it. Diving in after all? No, I shall cast another spell. To see through <laughs> your eyes. Now relax. I see Fultia Badem Ein Eichte Ilivade. Not wholly unexpected. That is no meteorite crater. What is it then? The effect of teleportation. A powerful force cut out a fragment of the seabed, rocks, and everything lying within the teleportation zone. Always claimed portals were dangerous. I believe we're on the right track. Look for anything that might contain a gin. Fine, but get out of my eyes. Too cramped in here for us both. I see Fultia Badem Ein Eichte Ilivade. Are we looking for a jar? A bottle? Like this one? Something cut this basket exactly in half. Hmm. Something Oops. cut this basket exactly in half. Tableware. Pearl encrusted cutlery. Ship belonged to someone awfully wealthy. Amos was no pauper. It could very well be his ship. And they've got six florins with them. Hmm. Can I examine? Oh. No gin here, but there's something you ought to like. What? Half a seal. That'll do. Come back up. That's it? What about this gigantic broken piece here? I can't seem to find the spot to examine it properly. Is there a spot? Because when I look on the minimap, actually, there's no symbol. Oh my god! <laughs> the camera! Help me, man! Oh, body. No? Could that be Amos? Uh, well, I can't really look at it. Hmm, I guess that's that then. Or maybe we want to at least get the, um, the chest here. Oh, I was looking at that thinking, whoa, are those sirens flying in the sky? But no, those are the bodies from earlier.
Can you always cast a spell on us, please? This is so nice, not having to worry about my breath. At all. But I assume for every minute Yennefer is maintaining this spell for me, it's costing her magic. So it's not really feasible for us to um, have that. Only found half. Can you do anything with this? I can use it to locate the other half, to within a dozen yards. And once we find that, we should find the djinn. Exactly. Ready? I'll take us there on the count of three. Ah, oh, no, not another portal. Stop whining. One, two... Three. Said you were gonna go on three. I did. Look, we must search the area. Yen, not so fast. Gotta tell me what this is about first. Why do you want this djinn? But you already know. A djinn's power is priceless to a mage. But do you just want the power or do you want the wish? That I know, but I also want to know how you plan to use it. Wouldn't go to these lengths if it wasn't something important. You're right. It's important. Even very important. <sighs> How long has this been going on, Geralt? This thing between us? Fifteen, twenty years? We repeatedly split up, then return to one another. Something draws us to each other, but I can never be certain if it's a true feeling or merely a bit of mischief by a djinn. So that's it? This is about my last wish? You asked that djinn to bind us together forever. I want to ask this one to take that wish back. Yeah, at first, it's like, why? Don't you want to be together forever? But if you think about it a little, that's a very Yennefer-ish wish. She wants to take destiny into her own hands. She doesn't want to know that something, some otherworldly force is controlling her. If this force is gone and we're still together, then isn't that an even stronger proof that we're meant to be together? I get it. You want to know what'll happen if magic no longer binds us. I want to know if when the Jinn's magic is gone, if we've any magic left of our own. Okay, I'm okay with that. Hmm. Wondered that myself many times. You see? We're just a step away from learning the truth. Come, let's search the ship. She's not showing it now? But judging by how she was kind of afraid to talk about it previously, she worries about the results, doesn't she? Seems Amos was quite the eccentric, asking the djinn to lift half his ship to a mountaintop. He didn't necessarily. Jinns are inherently mischievous. This one might have granted his wish and perverted it in doing so. In that case, I'd appreciate it if you didn't wish I'd disappear from your life. I've yet to decide how to word it. Oh, yes. Wording will be very important. <laughs> Please don't mess it up. We should explore the ship. Oh my god. Where are we? <gasps> Wait. Did you say you can find the other half within a dozen yards? This and this is within a dozen yards? <laughs> okay. Alright. Oh, oh, it's actually- I wonder if we can grab that along the way. <laughs> wow. Okay then. Ooh, that's a lot of blood. I feel like I'm looking at the Obra Din. <laughs> or should I say, Obra Jin? Ha ha ha! Ha ha! Ah. Interesting. A lot of ancient stuff. Relic stuff. Wonder what this means. Is there other words or what are you looking at? Wonder what this means. Is that the bottle that the gin is in? <laughs> if the stuff is all still here, it means nobody else has been on the ship yet. Mystery of mysteries. Agnes of Glanville. 
Among the many creatures of our world, there are but two that are able to draw and absorb the power, and these are cats and dragons. Both species instinctively sense the presence of magic in inter intersections and often choose them as resting places, which is strange, for other animals avoid these same spots. Numerous theories attempt to explain this behavior, but none do so with thorough success. Some scholars claim dragons use the power they imbibe to fly, for as the natural philosophers have proven, no creature of their size and mass should be capable of lifting itself into the air using such meager wings. As for cats, there is a theory stating that the power is behind their gift for seeing things in complete darkness. Others claim this ability is theirs by nature, and they use the power of intersections for other unknown purposes. Indeed, that all members of the Felidae genus are able to see beings from other planes, invisible persons, and emanations of the power have been proven beyond any doubt on numerous occasions. Would that be partially why cats don't seem to like me? Hey, that gigantic bottle there. Doesn't that seem like a, a nice gin container? <laughs> Elemental Empires. Elemental Empires by Jean Batista. None of the four planes or dimensions, those of fire, water, earth, and air, is accessible to mere mortals. They are inhabited, however, by creatures known as genies. There are four types, each corresponding to one of the four elements which comprise their respective essences. Each type of genie also counts its antithesis among the others. Thus, the Merids, aligned with the element of water, are opposed by the fiery Ifrits. The plane of earth is inhabited by the Tao genies, and the dimension of air, which opposes it, is the home for the genie whose name, incidentally, is the root of the word genie. This last term is often used by simple folk to refer to all creatures that inhabit the elemental planes, which is an obvious blunder. Unusually powerful sorcerers can sometimes bind such beings and bend them to their will, thus acquiring tremendous might to the point of near omnipotence. For a genie, being the living personification of an element's energies is akin to an almost boundless reservoir of a power. Thus. Its master can draw energy from the genie for spellcasting, without the tiresome need to channel from traditional sources. However, those who are able to bind a genie are few and far between, for the strength of the inhabitants of the four planes is matched only by the cunning which they employ to avoid such a fate. Yeah, and that's what Yennefer was trying previously. Didn't really quite work out the way she wanted it to, did it? Nice shoes. Looks like the impact with the mountain was so powerful it popped the wearer right out of them. Oh my god. Mage must have slept here. Wonder what this means. It's a freaking bottle. What else you want? Blood. Someone was dragged across the deck. Or left this mark when the ship suddenly tipped to one side. Hmm... Nothing interesting. Nothing here. Yennefer? Have you found anything on your end? Is she... she's up there? More bottles. Nothing interesting. Okay. Ooh. Hmm. Nothing interesting here. You're just making me click on random things. What about the blood? Well, there's nothing up here. It still says, search the ship using your Witcher senses, though. So there's gotta be something I'm missing, or... Yennefer, do you have any ideas? We should explore the ship. Oh, there's probably something next to the, the blood of the mage. Is there anything else here? Ah!
Yen, think you should see this. What do you have? It's Amos. Looks exactly like the etching in the book. Except his head was intact there. Think the djinn did this to him? No, it wouldn't attack its master. This looks rather like an unfortunate accident. When the storm broke, Amos must have uttered a wish like, take us away anywhere, to a mountaintop even. And the djinn granted the wish literally. They had a hard landing. Amos was thrown off his feet and against the wall. The bookcase did the rest. Always knew too much studying could kill you. Please be careful with your wording later on, all right? If he died while being teleported, Seal might still be on him. Behold. <laughs> Bravo! Come to the deck. I've an idea. Behold. <laughs> Oh, good lord. Cold's preserved the corpse. Hmm. Died from head trauma. Bookcase cracked his skull. Must have been a hard landing atop this mountain. Rest in peace. Now, where would the djinn be now? Where'd you go, Yen? Are you in the cabin? Or are you up top? Step back a bit. What are you going to do? Summon and tame the djinn. It's not likely to be happy. Stand at the ready. Tame djinn. Rif kaishta em gaya. Kaishta et disclare. Devered me castle. Take it you have a plan. You must weaken him while I draw him into the sphere. Care to trade places? I don't know what I was expecting to see, but I was half expecting to see something like Aladdin. Nah. Which clearly is not what we're seeing here. Is using the elementals against me, but he himself seems invisible for now. Oh my god. Just a bit more! I can feel his strength waning! <laughs> so is mine! Oh! Oh! A little bit. One pretty much instantly goes away. Got you! Your master died before uttering his last wish. I cannot capture you. We can struggle like this for eternity or I can release you. If you do one thing for me... <gasps> do you see the spell that binds us? <gasps> Only a djinn can remove another djinn's spell. Remove this one and you'll be free. Was that wording good enough, I wonder? Remove the spell. Storm's over. Yes. It's all over. Maybe we should sit. You look a bit dazed. I'm not, but we can sit.
We've improved. Last time we tamed a djinn, we destroyed half of Rhind. Yes, we make a good team. Thank you for coming, Geralt. I'd have had a much harder time of it on my own. I felt like the kind of thing that I should have come to anyway. Well, never could say no to you. Hmm. Perhaps that will change now. Feel anything? That anything's different? Hmm. I expected... I don't know what I expected, actually. A bit of vertigo, perhaps. I thought... you'd become a stranger to me. That I'd look at you and not feel a thing. But it's not like that at all. Nothing's changed. Yeah, I would expect that nothing would have changed, right? It's hard to tell because we've been together for so long. Not in the romantic sense, but just knowing each other for decades. So what really, of all of our interactions, what really was considered part of the spell and what is considered just us normally? Wow, I can actually feel my heart pounding at this right now. Jin might have cheated us after all. Why? Because I don't feel that anything's changed either. I love you, Yen. And I love you. Ow, what was that? It can't be all sweetness and light. Strange. Done that so many times. But it felt like our first kiss to me. It was in a way. Besides, once you say I love you, a kiss has to taste differently. <laughs> Alright. Maybe we ought to test a few other things. Amos's cabin looked cozy. Not so fast, Geralt. We'll have plenty of time to visit cozy cabins later. But I doubt the world will end if we sit here a while. <sighs> My, it's lovely. Mm -hmm. Think the spirits of Skellige favor us. <laughs> 